So let's talk about how you draw a Lewis structure. So in any Lewis structure problem, you're given the starting chemical formula. So in this case, let's start with something simple. Let's start with methane CH4. Now the first question you need to answer is, what's considered the central atom? And in most cases, it's going to be whatever comes first, or typically the cation. So in this case, we have carbon coming first, so carbon is going to become our central atom. Now we draw our Lewis structure. We're going to start out by drawing the chemical symbol for what's going to be our central atom, in this case carbon. And we have to put in the correct number of valence electrons. And for carbon, this is going to be 4 because its valence electron configuration is 2s2, 2p2. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 electrons. Now we draw what are called the periphery atoms. These are atoms that are going to be outside the central atom, typically represent the end of the molecule. In this case, we're going to have our four hydrogens. As a first guess, we're going to assume that the hydrogens is far apart from each other as possible. So in this case, we've got a hydrogen up here, hydrogen over here, hydrogen down here, and a hydrogen over here. To each hydrogen, we have to add the correct number of valence electrons. Hydrogen, this is easy, it's a 1s1. We have one, two, three, four. Now, you've got all your atoms drawn out, you've got your central atom. Next step is you want to start by connecting the central atom to each of the periphery atoms with at least one bond. And we're going to do that through each electron on the central atom. So we've got one electron here. We're going to connect this with the electron and hydrogen. We've got the top bond, right bond, and our bottom bond. And since we're out of electrons on the central atom, there's nothing more we can do. So we're going to say that we've correctly drawn this little structure.